Hello, uh, welcome to my channel. My name's Penny. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Today is the first day of a vlog. It's Monday. We have Maxie in the car with us, which is a rarity, but he's off to the groomer. Can you say hello, Max? Are you going to say hello? There he is. Right, so we're going to take him to the groomer and drop him off. Um, just thought I would log a bit of it and you can see him when we pick him up when he looks like a completely different dog. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you in a bit. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door You don't have to wake up yet We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix Marathon, KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone yeah. Shut the lights, go in front down so he can get back in the bed so see you in a bit i never got it what you have to go i guess this world's too slow for you i think there's beauty in the gray the cold but you just want the gold and there's no way i can beat it cause i got no chance no chance when it comes to her she got the glitter and the fame And I, I just wasn't enough for you back to come home so yeah all groomed all nice and his side is just the tiniest little bit of um, dry skin and the lady has put some special stuff on it for us so that it's um 
yeah so where he was itching at himself it's just a little bit about it's about that big now it's just a little bit of dry skin there's no redness or anything so she's put some silver spray on it just to just to help it out but yeah he's all good he's all good so we're gonna take him home now and he smells of baby powder so he smells amazing he smells nice he does yeah right so we're off home with him now so see you in a bit hello still monday it's that time of the day again where we go and get boys so that's where we're going we're going to get the boys i'm not going to film the drive this time sometimes i do sometimes i don't but not today not today because you saw it last week um but yeah we're gonna go and get boys we're gonna go and get costa first because costa is all important and then we're gonna go and get yeah go and get the boys that's it really today paul really isn't very well lucy's really not very well are you no she's not well paul's not well paul's really ill so there won't be much of anything going on really um they both got stinking rotten cold i have no <laughs> doubt mind you i know i don't normally get colds colds is not something i tend to suffer from fibro oh, yes weird infections on over different parts of my body yes colds not so much i don't tend to suffer from them lucy gets them all the time and i don't ever catch them off her it, i get a cold probably once every couple of years if i could touch wood i'm quite lucky like that so I'm probably due soon because I haven't had one for a while. Last time I had a cold, it was COVID, and it was about two and a half years ago. So yeah, don't. Was that a cold or was that COVID? That was COVID. That was the last time I had anything like a cold. It was when I got COVID a couple of years ago. It's not colds I get so much. It's like viruses. They're not actually colds. So I don't know, but they're both really rough with their throats and their chests and their coughing and spluttering and oh making all sorts of noises but never mind that's it from us for today i think i will hopefully catch up with you all tomorrow bye yeah. for now hiya so i'm going to be cleaning this room i don't know how much you're going to be able to see because i don't know how to position you so that you can see what i'm doing but i'm hoovering okay i'm going to be hoovering we'll bring it down um i'm going to start over here and then what I'll do is I'll try and move you around as I go. But yeah, I will put it on a time lapse. Nobody wants to hear the hoover. But I'm going to hoover around and then... Where's that? Where's that bit? What did I do that? Oh, um, I need to go and find my attachment. I don't know what I've done with it. Um, but I'm just going to hoover around and then we'll go from there. All right. So, yeah, I will put you on a time lapse. No. tired i want to sit down so yeah that's just a little bit of cleaning i'll do a bit more later maybe or tomorrow just a bit at a time in it slow and steady wins the race so 
hopefully i will see you this is be it for today i'll see you tomorrow okay bye for now hello hello it's tuesday i've just been to grandma's uh lucy's not with me because she's not very well and obviously my, my grandma is nearly 89 should be 89 the end of october so we try and keep stuff away put my sun cream on i got this one do not recommend i don't like it it stings but it's the only one i got in the car so it's got to be done yeah it stings i don't know why i don't have a problem with any other sun cream like this this one just it just stings my skin i'm going to use it up because i bought it but yeah i've always got sun cream on always 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 but i forgot to put it in my handbag so it was in the car so i haven't put it on before i left around so anyway yeah i'm what am i doing now i'm going home for a bit because i'm tired i'm gonna go home for an hour or so uh it's quarter to three yeah go home and then at five i've got to leave to go and get my two boys so i'm gonna get a couple of hours kit because i don't sleep well at night and i didn't really didn't sleep well last night because paul's really really poorly bless him i've left him at home in bed but he is so poorly but he was just coughing and coughing and coughing all night so bless him he's just really poor and lucy is so sick you'll probably see lucy later though because she's going to come with me to pick up the boys just to get her out the house get some fresh air that kind of thing but yeah so everybody's really poorly everybody's really poorly but i'm hoping because i don't have a video for today which is rare so i'm hoping that tonight i will film a video to get up for you if not it'll be tomorrow you know i do upload most days but i don't guarantee it monday wednesday friday and either a saturday or a sunday is my actual upload schedule i just tend to do it most days so yeah anyway i'm gonna push off and go home and then i will see you again when i'm going to pick up the boys all right see you in a bit bye for now hello we have lucy we are off to get boys um yeah we're not doing a lot today i'm going to get the boys i'm hoping to do at least two cupboards this afternoon in my kitchen because i've got a big clear out i want to do in there but obviously with how i am it's going to take time and because my helpers are all ill so it's just me so it's going to take me ages um so yeah i'm hoping to do at least two cupboards so hopefully i'll be able to film it it depends if i can work out how to do it because I've not filmed in my kitchen like that before. But we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Anyway, we're going to bugger off and go and get the boys. And then we'll come back and see where we go from there. All right, see you in a bit. Hello. Right, I'm back. Back from take getting boys and I've been to Aldi. And I've literally bought a couple of it. So I thought I would show you in here just because why not? Why not? I'll show you. So I've got red milk. <laughs> And they got a green milk for the kids. And then what I went in for was carrots, cucumber, chicken poppers, right? And what I got was none of those because they didn't have any of those. There was no cucumber, there was no carrots, and there was no chicken poppers. What is going on? Why can I never find what? Why is that all going funny in the background? That's better. Let's stop doing it now. Don't know what that was about. Anyway. We got some sweet chilli chicken skewers because and Matthew was normally have carrot and cucumber for his sandwiches, but we couldn't get any. So he picked some of those instead. I don't know, that's what he picked. And then Andrew, the only thing we got that we went in for was what Andrew wanted, which was the southern fried chicken skewers. Straws. Straws. That's all we got that he wanted. That was the only thing on the list that we managed to get, which is ridiculous, is it not? I just, I don't... I've, I, I just, you go in the shops and they're just, they're empty. What is, is, is there a shortage that I don't know about? Is there? Do we think? I've got coffee, sorry. Oh dear. Yeah. I, I don't, I, 
it's mental it's mental but that's the second time i've been to a shop looking for these things and they, they're just not there they're just not there it's just weird we especially with the veg i mean they had other stuff there they did they, they weren't bereft of veg like as there was i will grant them that but no carrots no cucumber which was all i wanted and they, they yeah there was none and matthew got himself a bottle of coke just the cheap one i think that was 49p i don't know what it's like i'm not allowed fizzy drinks anymore because of having the weight loss surgery and yeah one thing you you're not allowed fizzy drinks so yeah that was that really that i didn't it wasn't successful it wasn't a successful trip at all i was most gutted most gutted because now because they do my favorite chicken poppers and they had every other chickeny snack but the poppers and i don't want those ones i want poppers never mind i will try again in a couple of days try and get some more i probably have to go back to a shop anyway because i always do always do um i think this was about eight or nine pounds something like that it weren't dear it weren't dear but anyway i'm gonna bugger off now um yeah that's it from me today uh not a very productive day just you know pop to grandma's pop to get boys pop to aldi popped home that's it that's it so um hopefully i will see you tomorrow okay bye for now hello it's wednesday and i have done some filming but it's not for the vlog because it's at home and i am now off to pick up beavers and butthead yeah lucifer is back at uni now yeah he went back I didn't know if I told you that, but he has gone back. And apparently I shouldn't say uni because I'm over 35. Apparently I'm trying to sound like I am down with the kids. I'm not down with the kids. Isn't that what you called it when... Yes, I called it uni when, when, when my sister went there. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's always been like uni what? to me. Um, 20 I, years ago? Yeah, 30. 30 years no, ago? 20. 20 something 20. I know. My sister, she's younger than me, but not by much. Six years. Mm. She's like 41, I think, nearly. Mm. So, yeah, and she called it uni. And she's over 35. So, yeah. Just where we come from, we call it uni. But I thought I'd come on and say that. And I know it might be me taking the mickey a little bit out of someone who put a rather nasty comment about me being an old lady and saying the word uni. Apparently it's wrong, but... You're not old anyway. No, I'm 47. Since when is 47 old? You're considered a young adult until you're 45. So I'm middle-aged. Yeah. I'm middle-aged, not old. Get it right. Get it right. Mm. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Like I say, I've, I've only had a very, very few nasty comments. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't care. I just block them, to be honest. If you get really nasty, I just block block i'm not not interested in nastiness this this channel is about not nastiness mm. it's nice stuff it's lifestyle it's just bits and bobs it's just me going through my life just pot pootering pottering, pottering about doing stuff stuff you know i'm not controversial i'm not i'm not not anything really i'm just a 47 year old woman with too many kids and a shopping addiction yeah that's it really right. yeah yeah <coughs> i love my subscribers i love all of you i think it's fantastic that you like watching my videos um i enjoy making my videos it gives me something to do it gives me a purpose and i enjoy it but at the same time i'm, I'm not going to entertain nastiness um so if people want to be nasty to me then I just block it because I'm not, yeah, I don't care. I'm too old. I don't, I'm saying I'm not old. I'm not old, but I'm old enough to let it, it's water off a duck's back. Yeah, um, yeah I, don't, I don't care. But anyway, that's enough about that. That's just a boring. I just thought I should broach on that, that I have had a couple of nasty comments of late. And yeah, I've just deleted them and blocked the user because... Yeah, if you can't be nice, if you've got nothing nice to say, then just send me a flower. <laughs> that's it. Just if you've got nothing nice to say, send me a flower. That's it. You um, always told us if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to be mean to people. There's no need to be mean to people. Um, 
Uh, but anyway, we're off to get boys and then we're going home. Yeah. And um, I've got a couple of videos to film when I get home as well. I just want to get out in front again because I'm literally filming day by day at the moment, which is not me. No. Normally I've got videos lined up and I haven't, which is why they stopped going up at midday because I've had to film it and edit it. I've got one going up later on this evening, but by the time you've seen this, you will have already seen that video. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but it might be that I don't always have a video every day at the moment. No, I've got some stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, that, and it's just, yeah, saving up for Christmas and that sort of thing. I just, yeah, I haven't had the money to go really looking for boxes of bollocks or anything like that. So we just have to wait and see I what I can come up with. Those sort of things. Yeah. Because, you know, Christmas is coming. Yeah. We should just see what we're buying people for Christmas instead. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of Christmas content coming your way from me. Um, I do have some stuff that I want to film, but it hasn't arrived yet. So until it arrives, there's nothing, there's nothing I can do. I've got a sheen order that hasn't arrived yet. I've actually done a, an order. It's only a couple of bits from that Halara because I keep seeing people and it's always sponsored. Always sponsored on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube. They are always sponsored. So I thought I'm going to spend my own money, buy a couple of bits that have gone like viral and we'll see what it's like. Just see what it's like on me because um, they do a petite range and they do my size. So I've ordered my size. I did all my measurements, checked it all out, read the reviews. You know really put some time and effort into it i've picked two items because it's not cheap the website is not cheap and yeah it's not sponsored it's they don't even know who i am and i thought it would be nice to have someone actually review them that haven't been gifted them so yeah hold this space we'll find out what it's really like but yeah anyway i will speak to you all in a bit today um yeah not a lot not a lot i thought i'd just stick this in here why not um i might film a makeup video in a minute just let this all sink in and do its stuff i've been trying this one out so far i'm not impressed it's okay now look it looks absolutely fine now but I'll f i find like an hour from now or half an hour from now it starts peeling up and then it just peels off so I'm not sure why. I've changed up my moisturiser underneath today. I normally use, or I have been using, this one that I got in the Beauty Bay Advent Calendar because I used a tester size of this and it was really nice. And then when I got it, I thought, oh, I really like that. And I do really like this moisturiser. It's a really nice day moisturiser, but it doesn't seem to work with this. So I have been using this one it's just one i had in my drawer it's just an inkyless one i can't remember where i got it i'm not sure if i got it in a box or whatever but yeah i've just been using this one i'm just trying to 
I've got a big, big miracle cream in there that I want to get into, but I want to use up some of my older ones that I've got in there first. So, yeah, that's I've had this one a while, so I thought, well, I'm going to get it out and use it now, and it's quite a thin one. So, yeah, I quite like this. It's nice. It's nice. I, I think that the combination of this as a day cream and my miracle cream as a night cream is going to be brilliant because I really like this one and it's not expensive either I've just ordered from Beauty Bay the bigger one that's 30 mil I ordered the 50 mil it's only 13 quid so I thought well no, that's not too bad but yeah I'm not sure on this one not sure on this one I really like the new L'Oreal one the vitamin C one and um, the Garnier ones, I really like those. The Beauty Bay one is really nice. And there's a Nivea one that's really nice. I don't like the... Get it? I don't like these. This one's not as bad, but the Invisible one, it just stings my skin. Really stings. I've got it in the car, so I use it in an emergency because I'm going to use it up. Because I, I don't break out, but it just seems to sting and irritate my skin. And I can't be dealing with that. Can't be dealing with that. So, done that. I've just realised I've chipped nail polish. So, while Paul's out in the garden, I might top that up. I might top that up. Um, and then, yeah, I think I might go sort out and um, do a makeup video. And then unbox another advent calendar because I've got another one to do. So yeah, but so far that's it for me today. Um, and I will speak to you a bit later on when I, probably when I go out and get the boys. All right, see you in a bit. Hello, we're in a car. It's that time of day again. Will we go and get the boys? Only this time, Sissy is leaving me with all these boys. Oh, no, She's yeah. going to Nana's. Yeah, after you pick them up. Yeah, and then I got an appointment, I got a phone call with a doctor. So, because um, I don't, I can't remember if I told you, but I have had some tests done recently. I think I told you, because I think like in one of my vlogs, I put, told you that I was going to the hospital and to, yeah, to the hospital for x-ray and a scan and blood tests. So, um... I've had some results, but all I know so far is abnormal. That's all I know. I don't know what is abnormal, why it's abnormal. I don't know any of that. I just know that they found abnormalities. So I've got a telephone call appointment with the doctor because it's the earliest one I could get at half past six this evening to find out exactly what's going on and once I know I will jump on and let you know I don't think it's anything drastic I think they found my guess is they have found a lipoma in my hip um, because I've got a lump and that's what I think it is and possibly the x-ray has shown what they refer to as wear and tear in my hip which could mean um, osteoarthritis now I had osteoarthritis as a kid. The fact that I it went away as I grew up, it's one of those that you can outgrow it, but I always knew it would come back. So that's why I think that's what that is. Um, I had it quite nasty as a kid. Um, and then when I got pregnant, all the years I spent pregnant, I, um, I say all the years, remember I had four kids, so I spent three years pregnant it seemed to help and sort it out and now it looks like it's coming back so if, if I've managed to keep it at bay until 47 I don't think I've done too bad but yeah it does look like it's come back but I will let you know when I know yeah I'll let Lucy know Lucy won't be there but I'll let Lucy know but yeah I'll let you know in the vlog like I say I don't think it's anything like really really frightening or anything like that really don't think it's anything scary I think it's literally just a lipoma and possibly osteoarthritis which is what the doctor thinks it is as well but yeah that's what we think so I will chat to you in probably a couple of hours when I find out what's going on all right see you soon bye, bye. hello 
I decided, I said I'd come on and I'd share, excuse the train, as soon as I start recording, right, I said I'd come on and I'd explain a bit about what my results were, right, now, thinking that I had the lipoma and the osteoarthritis, turns out, no, not at all, not at all, nothing like it, kind of, um, my hip joint has a scoli scolarosis iliac at the iliac side of the right sacrolic sacroiliac joint yeah which represents a unilateral osteitis condensans ilia I will put it on screen because, yeah, I have completely butchered that. The way the doctor described it to me is a bony growth caused by childbirth. Hmm. Um, more predominantly found in women who have multiple births. And that's more than one or two. So I had four. So that's why I've got that. The other thing, the lump on the outside of my hip is... Um, Tendi, uh, tendinopathy and bursitis so it's it's tendinitis and bursitis basically um that's what he said it's um it's basically the tendon is inflamed and is caused a bursitis or bursitis is inflamed and causes a tendinitis one of those really not quite sure which way around that goes but in conclusion i have been referred to the muscular skeletal department for either physio and or some sort of injection in the site whichever they think is needed um that's what he said whether or not i go there and they decide that that's what they're going to do i don't know because as you are aware one doctor will say one thing and another doctor will decide that it's something else so yeah max stop um so yeah, it it's not what I thought it was. Um, nothing, it's nothing life threatening or anything like that. It's not a lump that I need to worry about. Even though he did worry me when he said it was a growth in my hip, but apparently, like I said, it's very common in women who have had more than one or two babies, which is a lot of us. Um, and it's I've been referred to the muscular skeletal department because that's why I get tenderness there, and it's why I'm struggling to walk with it because it's got quite prominent he said so yeah and then what with having the bursitis and tendonitis on the outside of my hip as well yeah that's why i'm really struggling but hopefully hopefully the musculoskeletal department will be able to do something I mean, we live in hope I'm, I'm hoping um i don't know what but hopefully they'll be able to do something and yeah but I am prone to things like tendonitis. I used to have it in my arm. This arm. This arm doesn't. This arm has uh, something else. It's not tendonitis. But I used. I had um, costochondritis, which is all the, it, the muscles, ligaments and tendons in my chest. And in my back were all inflamed. I ended up having... I had to be knocked out for cortisone shots. So I had... It was either 14 in my chest and 18 in my back or the other way around. Um, but that touch wood is fine. But yeah, I had to have that done a few, well, about seven years ago. I had all that done um, because I was just in agony. I could hardly breathe without pain. But that worked really well. So I'm hoping that something like this will help with this next lot. I'm really hoping. I really hope so. But yeah. Anyway, that's it for me for another day. I will catch up with you tomorrow. All right, bye for now. Okay, so it's Friday night and I'm at home. Paul's at work. There's just me and Max. Um, I'm just finishing off this vlog because then I need to get it edited and then I will be scheduling it to go up for you tomorrow. So anyway, yeah, that's that's the end of the week. Um, I didn't do anything today. Um, I haven't had a good day myself. So yeah, I haven't really done anything today. Um, but other than that, that's it from me i do so hope you enjoy this video if you did i'd love it if you give me a thumbs up subscribe down below for more videos to come and 
comment anything you like be nice um yeah just be nice be respectful that's all i ask um and if you don't know what to comment send me a flower that would mean the absolute world to me but other than that that's it and hopefully i will catch you in my next one bye for now <laughs>